Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm very excited. We have first impressions to do, which I love. This fragrance is coming from the house of Givenchy. It is Givenchy Gentleman Society at the Parfum Extreme. Let's do this. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Cologne and I want to thank everybody today for tuning in. Yes, that is right. First impressions. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm hyped. I hope this fragrance is going to be a very good release. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. It is completely free and always press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review at a later date. Plus, I have a code. If you're interested in the niche house, the niche fragrance house of Uniquey Luxury, if you go onto their website, their actual website, and you order something, where it says promo code, put in Mikey-Kute23, that will give you 15% off of your order. I earn no money, no commission. Again, I don't get paid to do this. The code is strictly for use lot to save yourself some money. I don't earn a penny and I'm not pushing the code. So if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't. Right, we're going to dive into this. Obviously, it's come well packaged and classy like the house of Givenchy. So that's just an elastic stretch band, so to speak. Now... Oh, nice. Let's put the box down. And it's come in that. It's a nice bag. Right, we have the fragrance itself. Givenchy Gentleman Society at the Parfum Extreme. Plus there's a couple of samples here and I did put in a code so I get, what size is this? It's a 12.5 mil travel size Givenchy Gentleman Society Extreme. This is from their actual website and a couple of samples. Today we are looking at this fragrance. Right, there you go, there's the box or the outside sleeve. It is 100 mil and like I say, it is at the perfume concentration by extreme. Is it gonna be extreme? There you go. Right, let's rip it open. I'm gonna try and be as quick as I can. I'm not gonna waste up too much of your time. I do know everybody has busy lives. And if you are watching me, I really do appreciate it. Let's take it out. Let's have a look at the bottle. Right, okay. Now, on the Givenchy Gentleman Society of the Parfum, where is it? There. Let's put the box down. Right. That's the OG, so to speak. So you can see that all this, the front bit is silver. This, the front of the new one has a little bit of a black fleck to it. Look. Exactly the same bottles, but if you can see the differences, this is the OG and this is the extreme. And it's just got a little bit of a black fleck to the actual Givenchy logo. So that's how you tell them apart. Right, test strip and skin. Let's prime the atomizer before we get going. Let's give out a couple of sprays. Nice atomizer. Wow. Nice. It's still got that Givenchy gentleman society DNA, definitely. Right, let's go on skin. Yeah, I'm getting at Givenchy Gentleman Society. But. Right, fresh, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, creamy, 
tobacco, nutty, right, this has got a woodsy undertone to it, maybe vetiver, but I actually think I'm picking up iris in this, I think so, yeah I am, very, very lightly, a little bit creamy, ever so slightly buttery, still fresh, but there's an underlining warmth to this fragrance. Like, it, that's opened up fresh spicy, like I've said. There's a nice dose of sweetness to it. I'd say semi-sweet, woodsy undertone. Now the fragrance is really starting to turn buttery and creamy. And ever so slightly a light touch of iris or oris. I'm definitely getting a nutty quality from this fragrance. Again, only lightly. At the minute, it's more aromatic, fresh, spicy than what it is anything else. But everything's slowly starting, or everything's starting to creep in. Like that nutty aroma, that creamy quality. The woods. Right, on test strip. <sighs> on test strip, it sits so flat. Like, I'm getting no nutty quality on Test Strip. On Test Strip, literally, I'm getting a little dose of sweetness, fresh spice with aromatics. A little bit herbal. Yeah, on Test Strip, it is flat. Like, literally, on Test Strip, maybe it's because I'm smelling it off my skin and going straight to Test Strip. But on Test Strip, it's just fresh aromatic with a slight touch of sweetness. I'm getting nothing buttery on test strip. Whereas on skin, it's really starting to develop to be this creamy fragrance. This is nice. It definitely is a true flanker, meaning that as soon as I smelt this up in the air, the new one, I immediately picked up Givenchy Gentleman Society at the Parfum, like straight away but with different things going on. I like this, this is very nice. It, is it more extreme? It seems to be a little bit more beefier and a touch heavier, a little bit more dense and a little bit more thicker. And it seems to be sitting a little bit more heavy on the skin. I wouldn't say this is coming across as a beast mode fragrance. No, no, no. Sometimes when people hear extreme, they think, man, I'm going to get 12 hours out of this. I don't know the longevity of it. It's first impressions. But it's not coming across as beastly, but it's projecting very nicely. Yeah, I like that. Now that nutty quality is starting to come out a little bit more. That is a very nice fragrance. Um, if you own Givenchy Gentleman Society, other Parfum, I wouldn't say it's redundant because you're still getting that society DNA, so to speak. But there is different things going on with this one, the new one. Right, let's look at the notes. Yeah, I like that. First impressions, that is a solid fragrance. I always say Givenchy Gentleman Society has got a little bit of a classy, sophisticated edge to it. So does the extreme. That would go very nicely dressed up. Like if you're dressed smart looking dapper and you're wearing the new extreme or the, the old society, so to speak, the 2023 release, they both go well dressed up on a date night. But this one seems with that buttery, creamy quality that I'm getting from the extreme, it seems to be a little bit more sensual, that makes sense. A little bit more better for close encounters. It's a great scent. It's a nice release. Right, I'm about to look on a Givenchy website. Top notes of clary sage, heightened with ice cold peppermint and fiery nutmeg, creating an imminent aromatic spicy twist. The mysterious heart reveals the original gentleman society accord, blending with narcissist absolute Irish concrete, contrasted by the signature quartet of vetiver, does quartet mean different types of vetiver? A powerful and unexpected coffee extract absolute develops out of this accord, paired with peppermint essence. The coffee note seems iced, revealing a new, extremely textured facet. 
At the base, woody notes of cedar and sandal are deepened by patchouli essence, vanilla absolute, perfecting the deep trail. So it's got quite a lot of notes in it and it is very nice. Maybe that nutty quality is coming from the coffee. Am I picking up a coffee aroma, so to speak? I am not. I'm just getting a little bit of a nutty quality in this fragrance. Yeah, this is a solid release. This is very nice. If you own Society, I still think that Extreme would be a good pickup. If you done them, or if you done a side by side, I think you would definitely tell the differences. Like I haven't got a trained nose. I just review fragrances. But even without smelling the OG Society, I can tell that there's differences with the Extreme, definitely. And I like it. I even prefer the Extreme, to be honest with you. Because of that, just because of the way it's coming across. It's got little things going on with it. Nothing's really jumping out too much. But there's little tweaks to it that definitely make it a different fragrance. Yeah, solid, solid, solid release. Yeah, I enjoy that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first impressions on Givenchy Gentleman Society, Other Puffer Extreme. That is a mouthful. And good first impressions. I'm over the moon with that. To me, these are all year round fragrances. But I think with the Extreme, I don't think that it would go well really on a hot day. A cool summer evening, yes. Say you're eating out or you're drinking and you're sitting out in the beer garden or you're out somewhere with family to gatherings, maybe you're at a wedding function and it's outdoorsy, this would be a great fragrance to wear, definitely. It really will. It's a solid, solid release. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you have tried the new Givenchy. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I appreciate everybody's support. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers.